from solution to equation. We have earlier learnt how to solve an equation. Let us solve an example 3x plus 2 is equal to 11. By subtracting minus 2 from both the sides, we get 3x plus 2 minus 2 is equal to 11 minus 2. That is, 3x is equal to 9. Now let us divide both the sides by 3. We get 3x upon 3 is equal to 9 upon 3. The solution is x is equal to 3. Generally we solve an equation to obtain its solution. Have you ever thought what will happen if we follow the reverse path? Let us now try to obtain an equation from this solution, that is, x is equal to 3. Now, we shall add same number, say, 7, on both the sides. We get x plus 7 is equal to 3 plus 7. That is, x plus 7 is equal to 10. Thus, we have obtained an equation from the solution by adding a number on both the sides. Let us now perform a different mathematical operation on the same solution, x is equal to 3. For example, subtract 5 from both the sides. We get x minus 5 is equal to 3 minus 5. That is, x minus 5 is equal to minus 2. Here, a different equation is formed from the same solution. Let us now build another equation from the solution, x is equal to 3. Multiplying both the sides by 4, we get 4 into x is equal to 4 into 3. That is, 4x is equal to 12. Adding 5 on both the sides, we get 4x plus 5 is equal to 12 plus 5. Thus, we get the equation 4x plus 5 is equal to 17. To make one more equation, let us now divide both the sides of the solution by 2. We get x upon 2 is equal to 3 upon 2. Subtracting 4 from both the sides, we get x upon 2 minus 4 is equal to 3 upon 2 minus 4. By doing so, a new equation is formed as x upon 2 minus 4 is equal to minus 5 upon 2. Hence, we observe that, for an equation, we get only one solution. But for a given solution, we can form any number of equations.